My name is Ian McCarthy and I will be working here in Lagavulin for 40 years on the 4th of August this year. What I do now, I do warehousing, I do a lot of malt advocates, I do a lot of visitors with peat cutting and I try and keep a lot of people happy, which is not an easy job. I was born up the road there in a farm up in Artala. My dad worked up there in the farm in Artala and my mum, she was born in a tin house up there in Lagavulin and there was a big family of them. It was just a wee tin house and they were all very happy. My uncles, grandfathers and a lot of my relations worked in Lagavulin for years. I can go back a long, long time. I had an uncle that worked down, he stayed down in the houses down the road there and he worked in Lagavulin for 50 years. Well, what I do is I work here eight to half past four every day. I go away to my croft at five o'clock and I'm there till it's dark. The wife doesn't see much of me, she just sees me when it's time to go to bed. We had a population of four and a half thousand. Now we've only got a population of three and a half thousand. But what I'll tell you is, you've got to remember, people have got TVs now. So we'll say that's how there's not so much big families. We can't afford to change the whisky making because what we've got to remember is the old people that worked in the distillery before us were very, very clever people. What they did, they had experimented on things years ago, before we ever done. We can't change tradition. We do a nose in here every Tuesday and Thursday and we start off from new make to the oldest cask in Lagavulin and people will see Whiskey has got to lie in casks for a good number of years before we get good Lagavulin. We can't rush Lagavulin. Lagavulin will take time here. What I do here, I let people see a 10 year old, then we go to 16 year old. 10 year old is just baby Lagavulin to me. 16 year old is lovely. All the questions that we get asked, we give people the true answer of them and they'll always come back and when you hear them, Come and look in, is Ian about? I must have told them the truth when they're coming back to ask more. The new make Lagavulin that comes off the stills, we like to get it smoky, sweet and peaty. What I will say, Isla is a very, very rich island. We've got plenty peat, we've got plenty water and we make the best of whiskey. You'll never run out of peat in Isla. If you see around Isla there, there's plenty peat and we'll never run out of. We always went out to cut peat in the summer. We had a summer, we used to stop for maybe three months. We were out cutting peat, lifting it and taking it home. Many's a day the midges were terrible. Your hands were all out in spots and everything and you couldn't scratch anyway. Your hands were full of midge bites and your face and everything. The tears were running out your eyes because of the midges. There's nothing worse. The only way to get rid of them is go home. That's when we had plenty time because, as you know, as long ago there, the whisky went more or less for blends and everything. We had time to stop and do maintenance and get water to gather in the summer. Now it's a boom. We have got 16-year-old Lagavulin here just now that we take out and let people taste. And what I say to them is, we won't get better. Lagavulin, 16 year old, is excellent. To me, we've got an oldest, the oldest cask in Lagavulin is 44 year old. I call that a ladies dram. It's lost the smokiness and the peatiness, but if you put a wee drop in your hand and rub it with the heat of your hand, it's amazing how it all comes back. It depends what people like. Lagavulin to me is, the way you drink it is just a wee drop of water and just slanjava.